Chris WahabiKing.com and today we have the PrintWrite DIY 3D printer kit. Even though it's really not all that much of a kit or DIY, a very polished product, full molded parts, it goes together in about 15 minutes. I've used this printer extensively, I've got a lot of hours on it and in fact I used it to print this 3D marble machine uh, right here. Um, awesome printer, let's just go ahead and dive into it. I've got the box right up here, I just wanted uh, you guys to see how it is uh, shipped in this box. Very rock and roll, very well protected uh, in transit, and we'll do a quick unboxing so you can see how it comes uh, and actually goes together really quick. I'll slide that out of the way and bring the, uh, the printer front and center. Now first thing is you're going to notice that it looks a lot like some of the 3D printers on the market in the DIY uh, realm. Uh, it reminds me a lot of a Repra i3 in the, in the way that it's kind of designed. Uh, but I'll, unlike a lot of those that are using uh, le regular leaded uh, or uh, threaded uh, rod, this one's actually using um, rolled lead screws, uh, brass nuts, molded parts, very finished product uh, based on a lot of those printers that are on the market itself. So let's talk about some of the specs. It's got a 200 by 200 millimeter bed, so it allows you to print very large prints such as this, no problem, 170 millimeter on the Z axis. Uh, belt drive on both uh, X and Y, and then on the Z it's got dual uh, stepper motors, uh, rolled lead screws with brass inserts right in here, so you've got a very precise Z-axis on that one. Um, it's using a ramp style board right up here, so it's fully configurable, as well as SD card slot on that. Uh, comes with power supply, comes with a uh, full one kilo spool, uh, as well as spool holder. Everything out of the box, even a USB with full software uh, on it, uh, and configuration videos on how to set this up and uh, assemble it and print it. Other than that, uh, it's got uh, ball bearing um, supports instead of uh, just bushings. It's got quad rails. Let me go ahead and turn this. It's got quad rails and full ball bearing uh, supports on these. Uh, extruder head uh, has cooling fan on it. Um, the print spool it just comes right up through the top and it comes right on down here. Quick release so you can quickly change your, your printer filament on that. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's a uh, quad rail, uh, dual Z's, uh, rolled lead screws, 200 millimeter bed, ramp style uh, configuration on this, uh, plug and play. And what's really cool is because this is a similar to a lot of DIY printers in this class, the parts are 100% interchangeable. Comes with a standard uh, 0.4 style nozzle on this, uh, but uh, you're able to quickly swap those out with uh, parts available on the market with say a 0.35 or, or 0.3 or even a, a little bit larger nozzle, 0.5 if you're just wanting quick fast prints. Now it does not have a heated print bed, but because this is based on the DIY, you're able to use a lot of those uh, parts for the DIY style printer. So you can just bolt one Right on here, we're going to have an option for that uh, so you guys can uh, just buy that out. Works extremely well with the, the, the standard painter's tape uh, uh, function with PLA sticks very well. You can see on this one it had no curling issues whatsoever. So uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and jump on over to the box, do a quick unboxing with it, uh, show you how it goes together real quick, and I'll show you the, uh, the USB that comes with this that has the, uh, the software and the instruction video so you can get a sense of what you're going to get for the value. So we're going to slide on over and do a quick unboxing so you guys can see how this comes as well as how easy it is to assemble it. Now as I was mentioning, we're not going to do an assembly because it goes together in just a few minutes. Uh, in fact, it's, uh, it's kind of, uh, when I first saw this, I, I was kind of laughing at the, the instructions because this is it. It's uh, one page. Um, just one page and actually what this is for is for the mechanical assembly. Uh, it goes together that quick and that easy. Uh, this is all you need. Now on this, uh, in this kit it does come with the USB which actually has a assembly video and that's mainly why we're not doing the video is uh, it has one already with it. Shows you how to assemble it based off of these instructions but uh, you can figure it out by just kind of almost looking at the pictures. Extremely easy. So I'm just going to lean this up so you guys can get a sense of how it comes packaged right in here, but I'm going to just pull out the first tray, we'll go over that, and then the second tray. Right over here in the corner is going to be your power supply. These are region specific for your area, so make sure you get the, uh, the correct uh, plug for your area. Now, first tray, I'll go ahead and uh, pull this out. I'm going to set this down, get this out of the way. All right, so in the first tray, we've got our XY um, axis right in here. Um, I'm just going to pull these out, and these are our two upright pillars. Comes with foam just goes like that take this off goes like that and then we have our two cross rods right in here that go right across here plug in here and would uh, would be our cross rods right in there our, right here is our Z gantry right in here and it has our wiring harness on it we're going to talk about the wiring harness right in there all you really got to do is slide these down, line up the bearings with these rods, slide it down until it contacts these uh, two uh, Z-axis stepper motors and start threading them down. It's threaded rod and it'll actually drive that down. Um, before we slide this on in, it's got some spacers. In our next uh, 
little tray. And now let's go ahead and talk about some of those other accessories that come up in this tray. It comes with extra uh, blue uh, painter's tape uh, for the, the bed itself, even though it comes pre-taped up. This is just extra for you. Comes with the USB cable to connect to your computer. Also has the SD card function built in. Uh, basic hardware, that is all the hardware required for the assembly of the mechanical side of things. Here's the spacers that I was just mentioning. These spacers just slide onto these rails. And actually, if you take a look at this one right here, you can see where these spacers go right in here. Just three spacers across it and slide it together. Comes with a shim for setting up your Z axis as well as aligning your two left and right together. Just uh, this shim right in here, you put it right in here on this side and this side, you adjust it so they're both at the same height. And then you use the thickness to set the Z, uh, Z axis to your bed itself. So it comes with an alignment shim and the all almighty uh, USB that it comes with. Has all the software required to get this printer up and running as well as the uh, instruction video on how to use the software. Uh, and assembly videos that shows the wiring harness on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and set this tray down. Pull out the next thing. Comes with a full kilogram of uh, PLA filament as well as all the hardware, I'm sorry, the, uh, the tools required for the assembly. All the torques and hex drivers comes in the kit itself. So you don't need anything for this except the computer. Comes with the, uh, the printer filament, comes with a spool holder, comes with the tools, comes with everything on the bed, even comes with software on the USB. All you need is a computer and about uh, 15 minutes to get this all set up and printing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that to the side. Next part that's just laying right up on top is just the top part right here. It has four screws that go down in from the top to hold that on down. Okay, and last and final tray is our actual uh, bed right here um, on the gantry. And on the bottom side, if we flip it over, is our spool holder right here. Uh, which is uh, for your spool itself. And what's nice about that is that it can actually accept up to uh, two rolls of filament if you have uh, multiple colors on that. So I'm just gonna pull this out and show how that goes. And I'm gonna lay that right there. So for assembly, you can kind of see how this goes together. It has two holes right here. So all you're gonna do is take the two spacers that are noted, slide them on, Slide the rod through this, put in the spacer that goes in between here onto the rod, continue sliding the rods right on through here. Spacers on that side, that's together, you slide them together and then two screws go in from here and here, in here and here, you'll have that assembled. You're gonna take the X gantry, you're gonna set it on the rods, line it up with the bearings right here, your bearings to the rods, slide it on down until it contacts the threaded uh, leads right here and you're just gonna thread this on down until it comes to about right here. You're gonna take the cop, top cap, slide it on, put your screws on the top. Mechanically, that is set other than the wiring harness itself. Now, like I mentioned in the wiring harness, uh, you're just gonna feed the wires on down. You're gonna pop the front cap off and rotate over to the computer, which has a video where it shows where all these connections are. In that it has a PDF picture that which it clearly labels and shows you on the labels on that. So let's go ahead and jump on over to the computer section so you can see how quick and easy that is to roll through. So take that USB, go ahead and plug it into your computer. It's gonna open up a folder system and it's got some files in there. Let's go ahead and just talk about the files that are on that USB to get you up and running with your 3D printer fast. So first one is gonna be the drivers. Now this is Arduino ramps based uh, control system on this. So if you've ever had anything with Arduino, it's already gonna have those drivers. If not, uh, you can referen reference it right back to this USB to load those drivers up if necessary. Next one down here is an executable for a repeater host. It has all the uh, settings on here already pre-configured. So you're able to pull that right up, uh, load that up, and you're gonna be able to run that printer itself. The other files, it's got uh, two PDFs. Uh, first PDF is the PDF that is the printed manual, just that one pager for the mechanical setup. And the second one is a more in-depth PDF. PDF, Ugh, can't talk today. I'm gonna just click on that so you guys can get a sense of what that looks like. Talks about the software, talks about how to configure it uh, that are already on there. So if you follow the secondary PDF, step by step, you're gonna have this printer up and running uh, as far as the software side of things in about uh, 10, 15 minutes. Even has all those connections I was talking about in the video where it shows everything goes on the wiring harness. Very in-depth, rolls right through this, uh, super fast and easy. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that. So you've got those two PDFs. It also has a nice video on it. I'm gonna pull that up so you guys can just see that. Um, uh, very uh, in-depth, goes right through the unboxing, and that's why I said we weren't gonna do a build video on this. It includes one already, very thorough. It only takes about five minutes for this guy to assemble it. Uh, in the real world, it should take you no more than 15 minutes to get the printer assembled. Very in-depth, everything you need right on that USB, and guys, that's pretty much it. Let's wrap it up. So that's the Printright DIY printer, guys, uh, wrapped up. Let's go over some of the key points. 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter X and Y, 170 on the Z axis, uh, quad bulb bearing support, belt drive on X and Y, 
uh, rolled lead screws with brass uh, drive nuts on uh, both the Z motors, dual Z motors, uh, upgradability, uh, full support. So if you have a, uh, or wanna add active cooling or a heated print bed, it'll just bolt right on. We have those parts available soon, or you can DIY them right onto it. Um, goes together in about 15 minutes, comes with all the software ready to rock and roll. Huge print area, uh, awesome printer. Comes with the, uh, the printer spool, full kilogram of uh, printer. Comes with all the tools to assemble it, which you can use for other DIY projects. Even comes with the shim for setting that up. Even a USB uh, thumb drive that you can use for transferring stuff around. Has SD card support built right into it. And you're gonna be off and running and making little prints like this in no time. It's my little DIY uh, marble machine that I uh, downloaded off of Thingiverse. Guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we'll see you next time.